welcome everyone to City Manor. Now all the family that showed up, welcome. Appreciate you guys coming, supporting your loved ones. This is Officer of the Year and Civilian of the Year. And I think these awards are more special than probably any of the awards that you get, just because these awards are, are given to you by your peers. You're nominated by your peers, you're voted on by your peers. So I think it's really a special award. So let me start off with the Officer of the Year for 2019, Kevin Hatch. You wanna step up here, Kevin? And I do want to read exactly what was uh, presented um, to us that everyone else uh, read, and that's what they voted on. So Patrolman Hatch joined the Mentor Police Department on July 1, 2013. He has proven to be a true team player and can be counted on to assist other officers without reservation or complaint. On January 8, 2019, he responded to a resident who had received a video of an unknown young woman who stated she hated herself and who had a black strap tied to her neck with the other end in the strap of her hand. Patrolman Hatch immediately had dispatch ping the phone and was able to get an address in Bay Village of where this woman was supposed to be located. Dispatch contacted Bay Village police and then had them respond. In the meantime, Patrolman Hatch continued to speak with the woman in the process of committing suicide. She refused to identify herself. Patrolman Hatch told her that we were here to help and he tried to calm, uh, calm her down. She said she didn't need our help and then he heard gasping, muffling sounds, and the phone hung up. He called her back multiple times but didn't receive an answer. Patrolman Hatch acted quickly and came into the station and had a detective uh, run the phone number through Clear, which, which is an investigative tool that we have to try to locate people. The phone came back to a different address in Bay Village and we were able to locate the woman at that new uh, address. However, she was unresponsive. She was hanging from the strap that she was holding before. Uh, she was transported to the hospital by the EMS out in uh, Bay Village for treatment, and she did survive her suicide attempt. For his role in assisting with that woman, Patrolman Hatch received the Lake County Chiefs of Police Life Saving Award. It was really an outstanding job. So with your peers voting for you, congratulations on being selected as Officer of the Year 2019. Okay, then Libby, can you come on up? <laughs> Libby's our 2019 Civilian uh, Employee of the Year. And I'll, again, I'll read exactly what was uh, given out to everybody. Libby joined MPD in September 8, 2015. She's always been known to work quickly and efficiently to complete any task presented to her. In 2019, she had two large tasks or a list of responsibilities in the form of payroll and off-duty jobs. Libby often came in long weekends and holidays to ensure that her payroll responsibilities were completed in a timely manner. Part of the jobs involves keeping track of all leaves, leave taken by the officers and Liberty Libby regularly sends out reminders when paperwork needs to be completed. She also attended to last minute off duty job postings and other changes after hours and from home on many occasions. The responsibility for posting, filling, and keeping track of off duty jobs is a never ending assignment and Libby has done an excellent job with it. She also created an email group for officers who were likely to fill job vacancies so she can get information out efficiently and to the right people. It was innovative and very effective process to ensure that the jobs were covered. Lastly, Libby completes all of her work with a positive attitude and she makes her first, uh, her list of daily tasks look easy because she is efficient and good at what she does. I just wanna say that Libby handling payroll and the off-duty jobs, first off, payroll is important to everybody. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> make sure that we get it, but it's not just putting down, this guy worked eight hours, this guy worked 10 hours. There's a lot more into the whole process that probably most of you guys don't even know. So it's really a huge, process and task that she does. Um, does a great job with it. And then the off-duty jobs is something near and dear to a lot of guys' hearts that, uh, that work those. So she does a great job with that. And Libby, congratulations on Civilian Year 2019. <laughs> you, now we'll move on to our current year for Officer of the Year 2020, Brian Harum.
So Ryan here, I'm joining the Menor Police Department December 15th in 2003. He's a member of the ACE unit, a field training officer, a range officer, and a team leader on the department SWAT team. He has shown himself to be a natural leader who is quick to assist his co-workers. In September of 2020, Officer Harum was recognized by his supervisor for his actions on scene of a call of a man with a gun inside of a building threatening to shoot people. Patrolman Harum directed, and directed the responding officers to position setting up a perimeter. After a quick standoff, he detained the individual. Patrolman Harum was recognized for his professionalism during the interview with this individual who was extremely difficult and rude. In October of 2020, Patrolman Harum responded to a residence where the female had no pulse due to a full cardiac arrest. Patrolman Harum administered life-saving aid until the fire department arrived. The female regained a pulse while seeking treatment at the hospital. And then finally, on November 25, 2020, Patrolman Harum received a Department Excellence Award for his action involving a report of an armed robbery um, a month prior to uh, November 25th. And during that incident, Patrolman Harum located a vehicle that had been taken by, at gunpoint from a neighborhood jurisdiction. He followed the vehicle into a parking lot and chased the two armed individuals when they exited the vehicle. Patrolman Harum chased both suspects and caught one of them. Patrolman Harum was not only recognized for catching this armed robber, but for a demeanor, for his demeanor moments after a stressful situation. Patrolman Harum de-escalated the situation, calmed the suspect down, and obtained a confession on scene. Uh, I, I know a lot of you have probably seen a video of it, but maybe the family haven't, haven't seen it at all. But uh, you see these guys bail out of the car, a gun goes flying across the parking lot, Ryan chases them, catches one of them as he's climbing over a fence, gets him, finds another gun on him, uh, and then in a matter of minutes, he just switches from, I'm chasing these guys, I gotta catch them, to I'm gonna build a rapport with them, and I'm gonna obtain a confession from them, which is what he did, which is excellent. I mean, you, you can't write it any better. It was just a great job, and again, you have three different incidents in 2020 that really exemplify, you, you know, the fine service that you do, Ryan. So with that, congratulations on your 2020 year, uh, Officer of the Year Award. And this is Ryan's second year. He also was Officer of the Year in 2014. Now for our Civilian of the Year, 2020, Victoria Hendricks, Tori. Tori joined the police department January 30th in 2014. Uh, Dispatcher Hendricks is skilled at communicating with callers, asking important and relevant questions, and collecting as much background information as possible. Because of this, because of this thorough information gathering, when officers answer a call, they have a very clear understanding of the situation and are, they, they are about to encounter before they arrive on scene. She is also very clear and concise when giving out information. She's easily understood and there's no confusion when she dispatches calls. Dispatcher Hendricks is proficient at helping officers coordinate with the fire department, law enforcement agencies, hospitals, and other agencies. She facilitates these interactions so that calls and situations are resolved efficiently. Dispatcher Hendricks works effectively under pressure. Even when overwhelmed under stressful conditions, she always maintains her professionalism and composure. This keeps situations under control and also maintains good relationship with coworkers and the public. Dispatcher Hendricks is a team player who can always be counted on to assist in any way she can. I just want to say as a dispatcher, it's kind of a thankless job a lot of times. They're in there, they're in their box, if you want to say, answering the phone, they're listening to the radio, and you have stressful calls. The officers are out there, they're handling that. They're asking dispatch for this, for that, for this. And it's very easy to get overwhelmed. I don't know how you guys do it, but you do a great job and you stay calm and you do. Giving that information out to the officers on the way to the scene or when they're on the scene, it's just so important and the job that you guys do and, and, and the way you do it is just outstanding. So congratulations on 2020. Uh, civilian Year, presented by your peers. <laughs> Finally, I'd just like to say that um, all four of these awards, well-deserved, great, outstanding individual efforts.
but none of that can be done without the team aspect. Uh, the teamwork that, that is shown here at MPD is just outstanding. Um, again, I'm sure you guys will all admit you can't do the job by yourselves. And everyone steps up whenever something happens, and they all work together to accomplish a task, get the job done. And I'm just really proud of the whole department. And again, congratulations to the four of you.